Eric Macker, the naturopath. Thanks for coming back. Man, man, have we done some videos on Omega-3? We're still going. I think this is video number 77, 78. How long before Omega-3 starts to work for me? All right. I've always noticed one thing in the clinic when I work with patients, particularly ones taking a supplement for a reason. All right. They're taking a dietary supplement, they're expecting an outcome, but they're expecting it now. They want that result, bing, like that. It's almost like they drop a coin in a slot and then the can of Coke comes out the machine. They expect to drop the capsule in the mouth and then the no pain drops out the other end. I'm sorry, it doesn't work like that, all right? It can take a while for supplements to work, but are you working for the supplement? Or are you expecting the supplement to work for you, okay? Think about it. You've got to get off your butt to make the supplement work. Now, meaning that you need to look at the right kind of food to eat, the right kind of water to drink, okay and the right kind of lifestyle including attitude if you haven't got all those you're wasting your time dropping a pill expecting to take away your ill because it won't work all right now i may seem very much matter of fact saying that but that's my clinical experience with people right everything takes longer and costs more than we expect that's life all right death and taxes you know the story that's the finale all right but you can definitely make omega-3 work faster for you by doing different things all right you really can notice a difference one of the key things you can start doing as i mentioned in many of my videos is to chew your food better is to drink water instead of wine for example is to get more sleep and to get more movement this will make the omega-3 work better and faster incorporating lemon juice in your diet incorporating cider vinegar in your diet getting your stomach and pancreas pepped up a bit this usually helps all right? these things work a lot and if you're not getting a desired outcomes in three six or twelve months you need digestive enzymes especially if you've got bloating or gas or gut problems you may not really be absorbing breaking down absorbing those fats properly and that's the issue it's not a matter of taking stuff it's a matter of getting that stuff to where it needs to be in the body before it actually works all right you can send 500 guys down the road to work on a cornfield, but if those 500 guys are going to go to the pub instead, the corn's still going to be sat there, not going to go anywhere. Do right. you get my point? Anyway, let's just read out a bit of my script. What did I write here? With heart health, for example, the smartest thing to do is to reduce additional risk factors. So if you're taking omega-3 for a heart problem, you need to lose weight. As painful as it seems, you need to lose weight. You need to get away from the crappy diet, right? Too much salt in your diet, too much fats in your diet. So, for example, cholesterol. I know some people take omega-3 fish oil to reduce cholesterol. You're going to get a way better reduction in the bad cholesterol by doing what I do, having some rolled oats every day, either to eat, or even a rolled oat cookie or a rolled oat muffin. Right? People who add oats to their diet within two months notice significant reduction in LDL. Now, if you pop the omega-3 on top of that kind of a dietary advice, you'll accelerate it even faster. Now, if you went for a walk every morning for half an hour, you'd go ratchet up another notch, etc., etc. So everything you do will contribute towards omega-3 working better and faster and become part of a well-crafted plan you've put together to work on that condition. Right? Forget about popping a pill and waking up and then Alice in Wonderland. It doesn't happen. If we look at omega-3 supplementation with rheumatoid arthritis, don't expect it to work as quick as heart health. I've always maintained 6 to 12 or even 18 months, taking between four to 6,000 milligrams a day before you can expect a change. I work with patients with autoimmune diseases for over 20 years, probably close to 30. I've worked with many people with many different conditions. Even multiple sclerosis patients I've noticed can slow down the effects, the accelerated effects of demyelination, you know, breaking down the, you know, the um, insulation around the, uh, around the nerves. They can slow this right down by eating the right kind of fats, by taking the crappy fats out the diet and putting the healthy fats like fish oil and flaxseed oil back into the diet. But it takes time. I've got a, a close friend who's got uh, this condition and it's not really nice when you get the MS. 
but I've noticed that she's in remarkable condition now compared to where she was five, ten years ago. MS used to be a death sentence. It's not at all anymore. And now when you carefully look after yourself, you're going to have a pretty normal life. And that's the same with many conditions. When it comes to the immune system, at least 12 weeks before you can notice some changes. So give it a try. You've got nothing to lose. Thanks for tuning in.